Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. I got a very easy video today. Just received a few packages from a couple people from Fruits and Associates. Also have one from Bees Crypto Mining. And I have one package here that I ordered myself from Alibaba. Just gonna be a simple video of unboxing and going through a couple things here. So, real quick, let's go through this one right here from Bees. Crypto mining, thank you good sir for sending this to me. What did you send me? It says fragile on the box, so I'm assuming this is something mining related. I'm gonna assume if it's some type of hardware and Bees Crypto Mining is a Canadian hardware reseller for a lot of different crypto mining hardware. So, good sir, what did you send? Oh my goodness, what did you send me? 10 pound. Fire extinguisher, okay. Okay, uh, uh, it may not be an extinguisher. We're gonna open it up in a sec. Oh, what's this? What is this? XRT auto fire, fi oh, fire extinguisher ball. Okay, this is something I have heard of before, but I have never had one. All right, I have actually seen or heard some crypto miners use this above their like mining rigs. Oh, okay, that is. That's pretty cool actually, that is interesting. Mr. B's Crypto Mining, man, thank you for one of these, man. But how do you like elevate, or how do you like hang this up on the ceiling? So if it goes like this, I don't know, it sits like this, I'm assuming, right? So where does it go at the top? Or do I just simply like place it on top of here on the shelf? So in case there's like a fire or anything, it'll just, explode all over my ASICs and uh, extinguish the uh, fire, essentially. That's awesome, man. That is that is actually pretty ingenious. I don't know many people who use these, but uh, anyone in the comments that has experience with this, let me know down below. That's awesome. Okay, uh, Bees Crypto Mining. Okay, you sent me another one, no way. All right, well, actually, I can then put the other one right, right here. Maybe when I have another setup here or a shed in front of there, all right, eventually. Okay, what else did you send me? Oh, okay, okay, these look like smoke alarms. I can tell right away. Okay, this is like, okay, I have a feeling this is all like fire, like fire safety, fire prevention stuff. Okay, I get, I see what's happening here. Yep, I see what's happening here. Sitter well, okay, this is a, yeah, this is definitely a smoke alarm. Okay, you sent me another one. Okay, dude, you sent me a lot of stuff here. Jeez, bees crypto mining. This is crazy, man. What else did you send me? Okay, we have some C14 to NEMA 515R uh, adapter cable. Okay, that's awesome. You sent me a whole bunch, actually. Wow. Thank you so much, man. What else did you send me here? All right, just packing here. This one is just, uh, okay, just bubble wrap. Okay, now let's open up this 10 pound extinct. Okay, oh, this is actually heavy. Yeah, this is, this is for sure a fire extinguisher. Let me open this up. <laughs> Definitely a fire extinguisher. This is perfect. Bees Crypto Mining. Thank you for this, my friend. This is, uh, this is definitely something I am going to uh, have to hang up, I guess, somewhere over here. Just in case, you know, in case there's some GPU mining rig fire of some sort. And I guess it's good to have, especially in my, you guys know, my crypto mining, my new crypto mining basement here, which I have essentially been getting all set up and uh, Bees Crypto Mining, thank you man, that, that means a lot. You, you care about 
my safety and like well-being and you want to make sure that if things do go on fire that I am going to be well protected man that's awesome smoke detectors fireballs and a fire extinguisher thank you so much man guys go check out bscryptomining.ca i'll have a link down below go check out his website all right next package i just got in is a fruits and associates well actually i think they rebranded and uh, you guys may have saw a live stream and the little bit of the asic earlier in the beginning of this video that i did a live stream of adding a shroud, uh, pretty much a ASIC shroud to remove the existing ASIC fans. You know, you guys know the Bitmain ASIC fans, which are very loud. And so I hooked up a AC Infinity to that. You guys probably saw that live stream. That was a lot of fun. But I believe what I've just been sent is another shroud, but for my Antminer uh, E9 Pro. And here it is. All right, in all of its glory. All right, so this is, uh, I think it's a little bit more modified fit for the E9 Pro, but I think the difference here is, is the, I guess the intake, uh, the tubes here, that it's obviously much longer. As you guys all know, the Antminer E9 is physically longer. You guys can see. So that makes sense that it's gonna go just like this. That is perfect. That is perfect. And for this one, when I eventually get to it, I'm going to actually remove the, uh, the power that's connected to these PSU fans. I didn't do that on the L7 uh, when I did that video. I think Chum Change XD actually did a video already uh, on his L7. He removed uh, the power supply uh, case and then was able to unplug the PSU fan. So that does help with essentially the lower power consumption for the whole ASIC miner and just utilizing the AC infinity fan which we did use all right which I showed you guys in that video it took about like 66 watts at like you know 75 percent but that is awesome Mr. Fruits and Associates thank you so much for this link down below to their website for these products for anyone that wants to make their ASIC a lot quieter and actually a lot more efficient because you're removing those delta fans all right guys last package this is the one I bought myself from Alibaba and let me tell you the packaging that was shipped to me here had a lot of water damage so I'm hoping that what I ordered here is not damaged in any way and let's see and let's just rip it open here it's you guys can see how mangled this box is and how easy uh, it looks it's dried out now I've had this here actually for a couple days and yeah it's looking pretty it's looking pretty flimsy, as you guys can see. Okay, so I ordered a bunch of PDUs, 10 to be exact, from Alibaba. These are power distribution units. I ordered it from the same company that I've ordered PDUs before over the past couple years. I'll have the link up on the screen here, as well as uh, in the description uh, for anyone that wants to order PDUs. But, uh, you know, wait till I essentially plug these in, use them, review them for a while. Uh, they're pretty much the same PDU I've had uh, before with a little bit of difference. Okay, I got them to customize it a little bit more. So this is a 240 volt, uh, 30 amp PDU, okay? Typical, you know, PDU that we use for mining for 240 volt, 30 amp in North America. And so here we have the C13 plugs, all right? And then I have the C19 or C20 plugs here as well, all right? And then this is what I'm excited for here is that this is a uh, watt meter essentially volt amps and watts okay so normally the PDUs that I do have I bought from China only had the volt and amps but this actually has the volt amps and then watts as well so we don't need to do the math uh, to, you know times the volt and amps that's what we get for uh, for the wattage so yeah it has the uh, breaker here for the 240 volt 30 amp and yeah, this is uh, looking pretty good. I bought these essentially because I wanted not only the C13 plugs, but also the C19, uh, C20 plugs, because I do have some Octa miners and actually some, you know, ASIC miners that utilize uh, these plugs. So without having to use, you know, like a C13, C14 adapter to C19, C20, whatever, I don't need to rely on that just in case. But yeah, I have 10 of these. And so this will hopefully give me a lot more versatility in a way that, you know, these are also nice and short as well compared to the ones I have now. I can actually show you. This is the one I, these guys right here, okay? They don't have the C19, C20. They have the eight, right, C13 plugs. But yeah, the difference is just, I have the three C, 
C20 plugs on here, plus the wattage meter as well, which I find to be uh, really, really handy. So, hmm, I'm thinking, should I do a giveaway on one of these? You know, I've been giving away a lot of stuff over the past couple videos. I'm gonna give it a breather. You guys just stay tuned for the next couple videos. I'm, I'm gonna give one away. I have 10, I don't need 10. All right, I actually only needed like five or six or something, so I will, uh, but, but you know, it's always good to have extras in case, you know, for whatever reason, you know, I've ordered like 20 or 30 of these before. I have no issues with them, but knock on that, you know, there should be no issues. And uh, yeah, it's a trustworthy source I've ordered from before and I think many other people as well. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you to, I guess myself, I ordered some PDUs, and thank you to Fruits and Associates for sending me the E9 Pro fan shroud kit, which I'll, I'll hook up a AC Infinity fan with. And then thank you, Mr. B's Crypto Mining for the freaking fire extinguisher and also the fireballs and also the uh, smoke detectors, or maybe these also uh, not only do smoke, but maybe gas as well. Bees Crypto Mining, let me know down below. But thank you so much, man. I'll definitely put these up like right away. And uh, you guys give me your thoughts on how I uh, apply one of these fireballs above my mining rigs. And uh, I guess I'm assuming I take off the plastic or I don't. Uh, let me know. Yeah, I'm assuming I do. I'll read the instructions. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.